This is a list of the naval forces from the United Kingdom that took part in the Falklands War. For a list of naval forces from Argentina, see Argentine naval forces in the Falklands War. Royal Navy. Command in Northwood, London. Commander-in-Chief, Fleet. Admiral Sir John Fieldhouse. Commander Task Group 324.3 and Flag Officer Submarines. Vice Admiral Peter G. M. Herbert. In the South Atlantic. Commander Task Group 317.8 and Flag Officer First Flotilla. Rear Admiral J. Sandy Woodward. Commander Task Group 317.0 and Commodore Amphibious Warfare. Commodore Mike Clapp. Centaur Class Aircraft Carrier, V. STOL Carrier HMS Hermes. Flagship 2 Sharp Pilots Captain Lynn Middleton RN 706 Naval Air Squadron 800 Naval Air. Squadron Part 809 Naval Air Squadron 826 Naval Air Squadron 846 Naval Air Squadron. Invincible Class Aircraft Carriers HMS Invincible 2 Sharp Pilots Captain Jeremy J. Black RN 801 Naval Air Squadron, Lieutenant Commander Sharky Ward RN, Part 809 Naval Air Squadron, 820 Naval Air Squadron, Landing Platform Docks HMS Fearless Commodore Mike Clapp RN plus Captain Jeremy Larkin RN 4 LCU 100 troops or one main battle tank. LCU Foxtrot 4, bombed and sunk in the Quasial Sound by A4B Skyhawks 4 LCVP 25 troops or a Land Rover with trailer. Flight deck for four seeking HC 4. HMS Intrepid Captain Peter Dingman's RN 4 LCU 4 LCVP Flight deck for four seeking HC 4. Type 82 Destroyer HMS Bristol Captain Dallin Bros RN. Type 42 Destroyers HMS Sheffield, set on fire by an aerospatial AM-39 Exocet anti-ship missile launched from a Dassault Super 8 Honda May 4. Fatal damage Captain Sam Salt RN, HMS Coventry, sunk on May 25 by three bombs from a Douglas A-4B Skyhawk. Fatal damage Captain David Hart Dyke RN, HMS Glasgow, hit by unexploded bomb from a Douglas A-4B Skyhawk May 12, withdrawn from war. Moderate damage Captain Paul Hodenot RN, HMS Cardiff Captain. Mike G.T. Harris, HMS Exeter Captain, Hugh M. Balfour, County Class Destroyers HMS Glamorgan, hit by an aerospatial MM-38 Exocet anti-ship missile on June 11, Major Damage Captain, Mike E. Barrow, HMS Antrim, hit by unexploded bomb from an IAI dagger, Major Damage Captain, Brian G. Young, Type 22 frigates HMS Brilliant, hit by IAI dagger cannon fire, minor damage captain, John F. Coward, HMS Broadsword, hit by IAI dagger cannon fire, later damaged by bomb from Douglas A-4B Skyhawk, moderate damage captain, William R. Canning, Type 21 frigates HMS Active CDR, Paul C.B. Counter, HMS Alacrity, sank Argentine transport ship Araila de los Estados, slightly damaged by bomb, Lynx helicopter damaged by return fire from armed coaster Aramon Sunan, CDR, Chris J.S. Craig, HMS Antelope, sank May 24 due to unsuccessful defusing attempt of unexploded bombs from Douglas A-4B Skyhawks, fatal damage CDR, Nicholas Tubin, HMS Ardent, sank May 21st by bombs from IAI Daggers and Douglas A-4Q Skyhawks, fatal damage CDR, Alan West, HMS Ambuscade CDR, Peter J. Moss, HMS Avenger Captain, Hugo M. White, HMS Arrow, hit by IAI Dagger Cannon Fire, Minor Damage CDR, Paul J. Boothestone, Leander Class Frigates HMS Andromeda Captain, 
James L. Weatherall, HMS Argonaut, hit by Air Mackey MB, 339A cannon, rocket and unexploded bombs from Douglas A-4B Skyhawks, major damage captain. Christopher H. Lehman, HMS Minerva CDR, SHG, Johnston, HMS Penelope CDR, PV, Rickard, Rothes A class frigates HMS Yarmouth CDR, Anthony Morton, HMS Plymouth, unexploded bombs from IAI daggers, major damage captain, David Pentreath. Ice Patrol Ship HMS Endurance Captain Nick Barker RN, Castle Class Patrol Vessels as Dispatch Vessels, Carrying Mail Between the Task Force and Ascension Island, HMS Leeds Castle, HMS Dumbarton Castle, Churchill Class Submarines HMS Conqueror, Sank the Ara General Belgrano CDR, Christopher L. Reeford Brown, HMS Courageous CDR, Rupert T.N. Best, Oberon Class Submarines HMS Onyx, Ran Aground, Moderate Damage LT CDR, AO, Johnson, Valiant Class Submarines HMS Valiant, Argentine fighters returning from an aborted mission jettisoned bombs nearby, Minor Damage CDR, Tom M. Limarchon, Swift Shore Class Submarines HMS Spartan CDR, JB, Taylor, HMS Splendid CDR, Roger C. Lane Knott, Heckler Class Survey Vessels 2744 T, used as casualty ferries HMS Heckler Captain Jeff Hope RN, HMS Herald Commander Robert Halliday RN, HMS Hydra Commander Richard Campbell RN, Trawler, Minesweepers, Minesweeper Auxiliary 11th 1900 Squadron Civilian Trawlers converted to extra deep armed team sweep with some extemporary acoustic and sonar equipment. They were manned by Royal Naval personnel, mainly from 1st 1900 Squadron based at Recife. All five minesweepers were involved in clearing two minefields off Port Stanley. HMS Cordella 1238 GRTLTCDR Martin Holloway, HMS Farnella 1207 GRTLT Bob Bishop, HMS Junila 1615 GRTLTCDR Mark Rowledge, HMS Northerla 1238 GRTLTCDR Jeremy Greenop. HMS Pick 1478 GRTLTCDR David Garwood, Royal Fleet Auxiliary, Tankers RFA Ulna 36000 TJA, Bailey, RFA Olmeda 36000 TGP, Overbury, RFA Tides Spring 27400 TS. Redmond, RFA Tide Pool 27,400 TJW, Gaffray, RFA Blue Rover 11,522 TDA, Reynolds, RFA Apple Leaf 40,870 TGPA, McDougall, RFA Bramble Leaf 40,000 TMSJ, Farley, RFA Bayleaf 40,000 TAET, Hunter, RFA Plumleaf 25,790 TRWM, Wallace, RFA Pearleaf 25,790 TJ, McCulloch, Landing Ship Logistic RFA Sabedavia, Bombed by Douglas A4B Skyhawk, Minor Damage PJ, McCarthy, RFA Sir Galahad, bombed on May 24 and June 8 by Douglas A4B Skyhawks, fatal damage Paul J.G. Roberts, RFA Sir Geraint D. Lawrence, RFA Sir Lancelot, damaged by unexploded bombs from Douglas A4B Skyhawks Christopher A. Percher Widenbrook, RFA Sir Percival A.F. Pitt, RFA Sir Tristram, bombed June 8 by Douglas A4B Skyhawks, major damage GR, Green, supply ships RFA Regent 22890 TJ, Logan, 
RFA Resource 22890 TBA, Seymour, RFA Fort Austin 23600T Commodore Sam Dunlop RFA, RFA Fort Grange 23600 TDGM, Avril, RFA Stromness 16792 T attacked by A4C on May 24th minor damage JB. Dickinson, helicopter support ship RFA Engadine 9000, TDF, Freeman, Royal Maritime Auxiliary Service, RMAS Typhoon, RMAS Goosander, ships taken up from trade. The following merchant navy ships were requisitioned as ships taken up from trade. Liners SS Canberra 44807 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried personnel of the 3rd Commando Brigade to San Carlos on 21 May. RMS Queen Elizabeth II, 67140 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried 3,200 men of the 5th Infantry Brigade. At South Georgia, the men of 2nd Battalion Scots Guards, 1st Battalion Welsh Guards and 1/7th Gurkha Rifles were transferred to Canberra, Norlin and RFA Stromness on 27 May for transport to San Carlos. SS Uganda 16907 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and used as hospital ship from the 11th of May. Roll on roll off ferries Elk 5463 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and two Bofors 40mm guns to carry three Sea King helicopters, ammunition. Baltic Ferry 6455 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried three Army helicopters, 105 troops, and 1,874 tons of stores and ammunition to Ajax Bay on 1 June. Europic Ferry 4190 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried vehicles, ammunition, fuel, and four scout helicopters of 656 Squadron Army Air Corps to San Carlos on 21 May. Nordic Ferry 6455 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried troops, stores, and ammunition to Falklands on 29 May. Norland 12,990 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad carried 800 men of 2 para and men of 848 Naval Air Squadron to San Carlos on 21 May. Rangatira 9387 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and a Lycon 20mm cannon to carry 1,000 engineers with vehicles and equipment, that sailed after ceasefire. St. Edmund 8987 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried troops and vehicles. Tor Caledonia 5056 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried vehicles and equipment, arrived 12 June. Container, cargo ships Astronomer 27867 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and a Lycon 20mm cannon and carried 13 helicopters, arrived, after ceasefire. Atlantic Conveyor 14946 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried 8 BAEC Harriers, 6 Hawker Siddeley Harriers, 6 Westland Wear 6 helicopters, and 4 CH-47 Chanuk helicopters, arrived 19 May, hit 25 May by one or two aerospatial AM-39 Exocet air-to-surface anti-ship missile launched. From Adasu Super 8 on Dard, fatal damage, sank in tow the 28th of May 6 embarked where 6 Hu, 5 helicopters, 3 embarked Chanuk HC, 1 helicopters, 1 embarked Sea Lynx Has, 2 heavy equipment intended for airfield construction, and the bulk stock of tents intended for infantry shelter ashore were lost. Atlantic Causeway 14,946 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried 8 ASWC Kings and 20 Westland Wessex helicopters, arrived 27 May. 
contender Bezant 11,445 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried nine WASP helicopters and four Harriers, arrived after ceasefire. Purchased as RFA Argus post-war, MV Myrmidon 23,413 GRT equipped with tented accommodation and porter cabins armed with 20mm alike on cannons, arrived after ceasefire. Freighters Avalona Star 9,784 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried provisions, arrived after ceasefire. Eastport 7,730 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and carried provisions and stores, arrived the 11th of June. Laertes 11,804 GRT, Soviet built with armored cable trunks and damage control centers, carried general supplies, arrived after ceasefire. Lycon 11,804 GRT, Soviet built with armored cable trunks and damage control centers, carried ammunition and supplies, arrived the 28th of May. Saxonia 8547 GRT, carried provisions, arrived 23 May. Strathew 12598 GRT, carried supplies and landing craft, arrived after ceasefire. Saint. Helena 3150 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and four alike on 20mm cannon for use as minesweeper support ship after the ceasefire. Tanker Zalvega 33000 T, used as base storage tanker at Ascension from mid-May. Anko Charger 24500 DWT, used as auxiliary support tanker from 24 April with capability to transport 42 different liquids at once. Alder London 19980 T, used as auxiliary support tanker from 12 May. British Avon 15,640 T, used as auxiliary support tanker from 25 April. British Dart 15,650 T, used as auxiliary support tanker from the 22nd of April. British Esk 15,643 T, fitted with over-the-stern underway refueling equipment for use as the first convoy escort oiler. British Tamer 15,646 T, fitted with over-the-stern underway refueling equipment for use as convoy escort oiler from 13 April. British Tay 15650T, used as auxiliary support tanker from 12 April. British Test 16653T, used as auxiliary support tanker from 14 April. British Trent 15649T, used as auxiliary support tanker from 18 April. British Y 15,640-9T, used as auxiliary support tanker from 25 April, hit by bomb from Lockheed C-130 Hercules, minor damage. Eburn a 19,763-T, used as auxiliary support tanker from 26 April. Fort Toronto 25,498 DWT, fresh water tanker from 19 April. GA Walker 18,744T, used as auxiliary tanker from 10 June. Scottish Eagle 33,000T, used as base storage tanker at South Georgia from 18 June and then moved to Falklands on 14 July. Tugs, repair, support ships British Enterprise 31595T, diving support ship, Iris 3873 GRT, cable ship equipped with helicopter pad and two alike on 20mm cannon for use as dispatch vessel from late May, Irishman 686 GRT, ocean salvage tug from the 24th of May. Salvageman 1598 GRT, Ocean Salvage Tug from the 7th of May. Sterner Inspector 5814 GRT, equipped with helicopter pad and used as repair ship after the ceasefire. Purchased as RFA Diligence post-war. 
Stennis E spread 6061 GRT, oilfield support ship equipped with helicopter pad and used as repair ship from 16 May. Wimpy Seahorse 1599 GRT, oilfield supply vessel used as mooring tender and tug from 8 June. Yorkshireman 686 GRT, ocean salvage tug from 24 May. Weaponry. Surface-to-air missile Sea Slug Sea Cat Sea Wolf Sea Dart Surface-to-surface -surface missiles or aerospatial MM38 Exocet Hikara Artillery 4.5-inch L 55 Mark Chapter 8 Gun 4.5-inch L 45 Mark Chapter 6 Gun Bofors 40mm L 60 Mark Chapter 9 Anti-Aircraft Gun Alike on 20mm A A Gun L7 A27.62 mm GPMG General Purpose Machine Gun Limbo Mark Chapter 10 Anti-Submarine Mortar Torpedoes Mark Chapter 24 Tigerfish Torpedo Mark Chapter 8 Torpedo